What's going on guys? This is Gold Glove bringing you guys actually a video tutorial and this tutorial is uh, just kind of I guess it's just my render settings if you guys have an HD capture card like uh, I just purchased recently I have a Hophog HD PVR and I wanted to show you guys my rendering settings and uh, kind of how I get it into Vegas and what I do to render it so uh, first thing I want to show you guys is well actually let's just get a clip and we can pick any of these I suppose let's open up Vegas takes a little bit but and I uh, just kinda want to show you guys what I do to actually get this quality and um, unfortunately the only uh, downside of my quality is the uh, file sizes seem to be very very huge and uh, unless you have a big hard drive I do not advise doing these settings but um yeah so here we go I'll just show you guys um, we're gonna use uh, we'll use something you guys already watched because I don't want to give anything away you know that's just no fun so here we go and um, so I just import it and I actually have a lot of things already preset so that's kinda why like right when I dropped it in my preview is actually widescreen and uh, it, fits, it fits completely perfectly with my um, with my footage and that is because uh, if you click this thing right here this is project video properties um, it pulls up uh, the properties for this video in the preview window and what I did was I clicked this it's this little match media settings and you click on that and then you find that same file you just imported so I'll just do it to show you guys and so it matches everything up and nothing changed because I've already had it matched up but it matches everything up to uh, the original file and so it'll make the preview screen like this and what that does is just makes it uh, you know a lot more simpler to edit and just um, a lot more clean and you don't have to worry about the black bars as much and you can see exactly um, what you're editing and uh, you know what it's doing and you don't have to render to see if a crop you know did it you did the crop a correct way or so and so it'll actually show it um and then after that is the basic rendering settings and that is we'll just go test actually hold up let me mark off a little section of this we'll go render as desktop I'll uh, we'll just name it test and um these are actually my settings. I am using main concept AVC slash AAC dot MB4. And I will walk you through my settings. Mine is named YouTube HD Hopog. And uh, this is just um, my template for gameplay settings. But uh, as you can see, the custom frame size is 1280 by 720, which is the actual size of my uh, render file and the size that YouTube supports. So. Um, it's kind of it just works out um, the frame rate that I have right here is the same frame rate that I recorded uh, the footage in and we'll back up a little bit and I'll show you guys how you can find that out once you import something you click on it up here in the project media and it has the info of that file and as you can see it says 60.006 FPS which is my which is uh, frames per second so I recorded this footage in 1280 or excuse me 720p and uh, this is uh, 20 frames per or excuse me 60 frames per second uh, I can't read obviously and it shows my audio and all that stuff so do this one last time let's go desktop name it test uh, main concept mp4 custom so I've got the frame size the profile needs to be on main frame rate needs to be the exact frame rate, if you don't know the exact frame rate, um, just try to guess estimate to this number as close as possible. Just put this number in right here. Uh, mine is actually exact. This rounds up. So, 
Um, field order, I usually put it on none. Uh, leave the pixel aspect ratio at one. Uh, leave everything else. Uh, something that this uh, kind of has a problem with is if I, let's say I pick this as my at 14, uh, this will be 14 frames per second. That's what that stands for, basically. Um, or excuse me, 14. Uh, this is my bit rate. Um, if you if you go to switch the audio and switch back to video, it actually changed back. So what you need to do is you need to put it on variable, and you need to make both of them your bit rate that you recorded the footage in. And in my case, I recorded my footage in 13. Uh, 13.5, and that is 13.5. Oops. And then uh, when you go back, that's actually what it is. It stays, so it doesn't tweak out. I usually just leave my audio default and my project. I change the video rendering quality to best, and then I click OK, and I render it. And uh, you know, it depends on the type of computer you have, but uh, my computer renders pretty quickly. Um, about a 10 minute video probably takes me about an hour, which is very short compared to some people. I, well, I used to have an old computer and it rendered probably in, oh, a 10 minute video probably took four or five hours. So it's a big difference. Uh, this is how you do it, and this is how you get the quality. And I'm going to put the. I'm going to put this this little test video, I'm going to put it at the end of this video so you guys can see what those rendering settings did. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. hope this helps you guys out, and I will have more videos coming your guys' way. Take it easy. Even if...